Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. We're doing your December monthly. <laughs> How are you? Before we start, I just want to encourage everybody is here. Okay. The uh, it's not a pillow. Um, every every time there are times where I would release a limited edition box. First was the goddess and the high priestess. Those are gone, you know, so it's limited. This thing is available by Monday. You just have to click notify you. There's gonna be a link in the comments. I'll put it there. Okay, so again, it's limited. It's not for everybody because I put magical stuff in it and nobody knows until they get it. So that's the whole fun of this box. And this time, it is the Rising Star Box. Okay, <laughs> So it's not a star box, but Rising Star. I don't wanna put it here. Okay, I'll put it there first. Okay, so it doesn't distract us. So there you go. If you have the app at Eat Read Love, um, you just have to favorite it and you're gonna get notified right away once we release it on Monday. But other than that, uh, let's start your reading. Okay. So okay. There are things that irritates me is one is this here. You know, like I have to put up okay. ah okay. I'm just gonna keep that clip away because it's it's hurting me. Because I thought it's like, oh, it's fine. And then I put that there. It makes me, uh, you know, sometimes I just want to tie it up. Because uh, it's hot. It makes me feel dizzy. Okay, anyhow. So I thought I can wing that. Okay. You see, I just put a big cliff. <laughs> I was... It was hurting my neck. Okay. Anyhow, let's begin here. Uh, it's not even a clip. It's like, I don't know, like a hairdresser one. So let's see what's going on for the Taurus for December. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so you could be tightening the wallet or the pocket. Yes, financial-wise. That could be a situation right now. Which is very logical, you know, like you're thinking for long term. Not available emotionally, also not available financially. Now, the um, Four of Pentacles feels... I feel like you're keeping yourself away from the person. There is uncertainty, instability. But you have also, you have a prior, you, you have something that you're prioritizing. Okay? And being involved, whoever this is, which we haven't drawn the card, they're not as vital in your life. Oh. The fool. You're trying to stay away from a reckless individual. Yes. Uh, the fool is a person, you see, and then there's the hater. I got a lot of complaint in the production crew, okay? Those are, you know. You're trying to stay away from the person who's reckless. Because the fool is stupid. Mm -hmm. Lacks uh, experience. Can be younger person. Yeah. You don't want to get involved because they don't seem to be a person that you could be with for long term. And you don't see that anymore. They're still coming towards you. Could carefree. Doesn't think much of responsibility and you're being responsible. So this is an irresponsible, so totally opposite of you. And you have the nine of wands. You're traumatized by this person's energy. And you consistently try to ward it off. Now, Nine of Wands and the Four of Pentacles, this uh, feels like you have you have been challenged uh, physically, emotionally by this person. Because the Nine of Wands is wounded, so hopefully it didn't get to that part. But you are hurt by them. Mm -hmm. You still feel the pain, you still feel the struggle, and you cannot forget it. While on their end, they got the page of ones, still reckless, you know. Page of ones is uh, very intimate. 
Could even practice intimacy with no protection, because the fool is risky business, that's what I see. And page of wands is phallic, you know? And you are scared to get, you could be possibly also scared to get pregnant here. The fool is an infant, so this person might want to have a kid with you, for some. Or they're acting like a child, you know, they're, they're acting like a child, and you constantly have to monitor them. And there's this doubt that you have with them, like, what are they going to do now? And how much stupidity is that this person will bring to my life where there are things that I need to, you know, to, to hold on to, like, ground it. And they're, they're not caring about anything. Could care less. Okay. They have the justice as a major arcana. They have the fool as their major arcana. So that's their surrounding. Everything for them is... Uh, uh, everything in their life, no responsibility attached. Everything in your life, I mean, you balance things out. You, you consider things. You look, at, uh, you look at life that, okay, life is not a joke. We have serious stuff going on in the planet. We have serious thing going on with my finances. Uh, this is what you're having as a justice. And there, and I just go sleep with that. I don't think about that. Get the Four of Swords. So they're carefree, nonchalant. With the Four of Swords, they also claim like, well, I'm too tired of dealing with those things. I'm too tired of dealing with you. I'm too tired of you saying this, saying that. Because this person refuses right now to address the things that you want to talk to them about because of justice you want things to be settled do they want it settled no i don't think so i don't sense that urgency on them i sense they're in the yellow you only live once let me exp let's let me explore let me live my life let me not think whatever you're thinking that is important Ay, ay, ay. What you got in yourself into, Turinian? Hmm. Judgment on your end. And the Three of Wands. Okay. I forgot I need to stretch my arms or else it's gonna get stress. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Judgment and Three of Wands, you're pressuring, you're pressured or you're pressured in the situation. You're, if you're married, you want to file for divorce because they, they lack the sense of responsibility in the union. If you're in a relationship with a person, judgment with the justice, you feel the pressure outside. This is not about me and you anymore. There are other things, other factors in our life that is affecting okay our relationship and we need to make it right we need to resolve this right because you got a three of wands mm -hmm. mean meaning you're hopeful right their end they're the ace of coins and the queen of cups all right now this person is saying here that If you want it to work, then you put more time and effort instead of you, because the first card of you is Four of Pentacles, the last card is Ace of Pentacles. So this person is saying that you have been holding back onto that coin, right? You've been holding back on them. So now they're claiming that it's you who has to make the effort, not them. Claiming like, well, they are, they're only here, Queen of Cups. Loving you and being there for you, but you need to step up on their end. Okay? That's what this person say. Six of Wands. This what bothers you is them not thinking about responsibilities and just always having fun. Six of Wands, you know, it's like whatever, I talk to people, you know. So 
they lack the sense of you know being union you know being in union with you mm -hmm. this person has a headache eight of wands and they talk to different people they talk they go where they want to unstoppable always have somewhere to go never available to you and you got tired of that nine of wands you got tired of their lack of sense of responsibility, you know, being responsible to you. They'll call you, they talk to you, but sometimes even just for, hey, I only have, you know, I only have, I only have a break, so we can talk in break, you know. I only have the weekend available to talk. They will say that. So it's always limited. It's always about them. That they have something important. Okay. You have the magician, which only means, yep, Eight of Pentacles, which only means that you have been tirelessly working out the situation, have done everything possible, okay, on your end to make this work so you don't you didn't give up you tried to weigh things out you were being patient and you show a lot of effort so you were being 100 ten of swords hermit well the other person here what's wrong with this person because their energy is, I need to recover from this situation. They felt like when you held back your energy, well, you know, you, you guys broke up. And you made them feel alone. You made them feel miserable. That's why this person is claiming that they need to have some good time because with you, Constantly telling them what to do, not to do. They were miserable. They were not happy. That's why they're shutting down. And they're trying to catch up on a lost life that they haven't explored. So this person is saying that they have missed so many chances to be with their friends, to see other people, to talk to people. You have restricted them. You made them feel bound to you. But it's, I don't know, that's what they're saying. I don't know if you did that. I don't know. Did you do that? Three of Swords. The Three of Pentacles. Now you have Judgment and the Three of Swords, which only means that this is a breaking point for you. If this doesn't get resolved, it would lead to separation. If they do not change their ways now, it would mark as the final sword in this connection and the final you know a decision will be made judgment is there already three of wands no matter how much optimistic you are you feel like well i think this is this is it you have the queen of cups and then the three of pentacles here this person chooses to divert their attention or effort or energy to other people rather than resolving the situation right now and they are not aware okay they're not aware that you are at your breaking point. The thing is, with this person, they're not aware because they have a different awareness. You're at your breaking point. They felt like you had already broken up with them. So what is it there to resolve when you, in the first place, Four of Pentacles, has given up? So they don't see that you are still there. So now they're just saying, it's like, well, if you're there, then you would be reaching out. But if you're not, then I'm, I'm talking to other people already. I'm entertaining other people. I'm seeing other people. Okay. Okay, spicy potatoes. <sighs> so, that's it for your December. I will continue the reading in the extended. Link down there in the description box below. Um, make sure you download the app. Okay, I do send out tarot messages. And of course, this lovely, okay, rising, okay, rising star 
box, okay, um, is gonna be out, okay, by Monday. <laughs> it's it's very nice, it's very nice. So make sure you are in the Notify Me. Um, go to the website, I'll put it in the comments as you, so you get the first dibs on this. Again, this is limited. Once it's gone, it's done. And it's all the magical things that I personally make. This is, it took me like months and months and months. I, had, I thought I was not even going to be able to get it here because of all the things happening. Anyhow, thank you very much. I will see you guys in January because this is your December, the last reading for this year for 2020. And it's going to be soon, 2021. Thank you very much, Taurus, for watching. I'll see you. Bye.